YouTube, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, my Smell Good family. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone is good and your holiday season has kicked off to a very, very great start. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you like what you're hearing, like what you're seeing, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell. You'll be notified every single time your boy drops a brand new fragrance video. Okay, uh, so today we're gonna be jumping into a full review. And man, I'm excited to talk about this one. I haven't had a fragrance impact me the way that this one has. Um, it's been a minute. It's, it's been a minute since I had one that just totally caught hold of me. Something that's, you know, my wife is head over heels for this one, like nothing really never before. Um, and I've received a lot of compliments in the short time that I have had it. And man, let's just not waste any more time. We're talking about from the house of Guerlain. We got Loam Ideal, Ideal, <laughs> EDP, EDP. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it, guys. Now, you know the story. Probably about two to three weeks ago, I put out a first impressions video. Shout out to my guy, Said, man. He came through and, and decanted me. Uh, I think it was a 10 millimeter um, decant uh, of this stuff, man. And I was just so excited to finally smell it because I had been on the hunt for it. It sells out, it sells out, it sells out. Every time, I hadn't even smelled it. Fully prepared to buy, blind buy it. And then my dog, he just, out the blue, is like, oh, I think I got that back in the closet somewhere. You think you got it? Go get it go get it so he got it he brought it through and he blessed me with a, a 10 ml decan and i'm so grateful that he did so funny story i'm editing the video um i'm chopping it up i go to for grantica uh to try to get the picture off to try to make the thumbnail um and right at the bottom right at the bottom it says fragrance net has it on sale right now and i'm like wait a second what, what what do they mean they have it on sale right now so i click the link it shoots me straight to fragrance net put it in my cart and i purchased it i was i was like hesitant like i don't know man like maybe somebody kind of caught me i got too excited maybe i should have took my time and maybe 10 minutes later the confirmation came through and i was like wow just like that it's on the way so that's kind of my crazy story acquiring this and if I wouldn't have been editing that night, I would have missed it because it sold out very, very quickly on FragranceNet. And shout out to everybody from the Fragrance family, my Smell Good family, who uh, let me know in the comments that it was available. Hurry up, hurry up, go grab it. So shout out to y'all, man, who uh, let me know. And um, I indeed copped it. So um, it came in the mail and um, I wore it right away. And, um, you know, my wife was just like, wow, what is that? You smell really good the first time I wore it. So I let her know what it was, and I wore it a couple of more times, and the last time that I wore it, she kind of stopped in her tracks and said, that smells really good. What does that tell me more? So I broke it down to her what I was wearing, told her some of the things that was in it. She got really close to me and just started smelling it off my skin and became an instant fan. And you know, I believe she believes that every man should own a bottle of this stuff, you know, because that's how big of a fan she's become of it. So I receive more compliments with this than any other fragrance that I've been wearing in my rotation as of late. True story. I've been getting more compliments with this in the past two weeks. 10, 10 plus comments, no lie. 10 plus more compliments with this fragrance that I've received. I'm talking about from the first time I've worn, you know, uh, Y Say a Y, if I'm wearing, uh, you know, Dior, Dior Sauvage Parfum, if I'm wearing Versace, it doesn't matter. This one has received all of the love. So um, I was out and about and I purchased some new fragrances today and the ladies in my local dealers, three of them, all three of the sales ladies asked me what I was wearing. What I was wearing, you smell good, what is that? And I have fun with one of them and I said, well, what I have on today, you don't carry in this store. And she just kind of looked at me and I told her what it was and she was like, yeah, you're right, we don't carry that. That stuff smells amazing. So. I've let my friends know, anybody who would listen, like, look, bro, if y'all don't have this, if y'all don't have this, find a way to get it. I know it's hype. I know it's talked about, but I just acquired. I'm late to the party, and that's fine by me. This stuff is excellent. This stuff is excellent, and I'm so glad that I have it. 
I love it so much that I am starting to have conversations within myself as this being a top fiber for life. Yep, mm -hmm. a top fiber for life. Why? Everybody out there, why? Why? Why is he saying top five? Listen, that cherry, that almond, that leather, that vanilla dance that's going on with this fragrance is amazing. I, it smells so divine. It's so sexy. It's so seductive. It's 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 not playing any games. This thing is me. <laughs> this thing is me. Projection is fantastic. Longevity. I'm getting eight to nine, maybe even ten hours of longevity. I mean, a performance. Uh, longevity is great. The CI just three. I want to say two to three hours of great projection. Um, the sillage bubble is just great. One of the ladies who complimented me, complimented me, I had already walked by her. And when I came back around to the counter, she then complimented me, complimented me then. So she got her chance at the fragrance as I walked by. I think I don't give tens out of tens, but man, if I did, this would be a 10 out of a 10. Um, this is the only one I have from the line. I am interested in a few more from the line that I look to acquire uh, here shortly. But um, this is something for me that, you know, I'm gonna be wearing year round. Um, it leans more towards the fall and the cooler months, but you can wear this in the evening time on a summer night. You can wear this in the evening time on a spring night. I wouldn't wear it if it's too, too hot out. I wouldn't put this on. But if the temperatures are not scorching and not burning your skin off, then you can put this on. You can wear this. Um, I am just obsessed, really, with it. You know, every time I look at my, you know, my fragrances where I have them, I see it. It's on my top shelf. It's on my top shelf, and I want to pull it out. I want to spray it. I want to wear it. And I'm going to be careful with the bottle, even though this bottle is pretty full. I've worn it already three to four times, four or five times even. I'm getting a backup bottle. So when it resurfaces again, I'm gonna be buying another bottle because I really want this for life. I mean, things like, you know, Blood of Chanel Parfum and EDP and Etta Toilette, these are things that I'm gonna have. I need to have these things. Mancera's Black Gold, I gotta have it. So those things are all backup worthy to me because they're top fives for lifers, if that makes sense. <laughs> they are top five fragrances indeed. So. I kind of, you know, not kind of, I got spoiled. My wife has a Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So I really love that cherry note. I love it. I love how it's done on the Tom Ford. It's really, really good. Really, really good. So I have been looking for something to um, kind of offset that. Even though the Lost Cherry is a unisex fragrance, I was still looking for another cherry fragrance to hold me down. So I ended up, you know, purchasing the, uh, uh, I think it's Dark Cherry and Amber from the Banana Republic. Um, I have that fragrance and it's good, but it definitely leans more toward the profile of the, the Baccarat Rouge 540. It doesn't come off all the way like that, but especially on the dry down, as it really settles down on your skin and on clothing, you definitely get that Baccarat Rouge type vibe, even though that fragrance is good. And I have worn it, it's good. I have no issues with it, but I still was searching for something else. So upon smelling it from the decant that I got from my buddy, and then what I have in my hand now, this has done the trick. This has done the trick. I don't have to look any further. So again, if you're into cherry, uh, vanilla, almond, leather, uh, if you're into those type of uh, notes and accords and you're looking for something to do a beautiful dance, this is it. Now this is considered a niche level quality and it definitely smells like it. There's nothing synthetic about this. Not, not to me, not to my nose. I, you know, you know, my nose is developing every single day because I smell so many fragrances, but this stuff definitely has a superior quality to it. And you can smell it from when it comes right out of the bottle to when you wear it throughout your day, which is gonna garner those compliments and really, 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 um, you know, set you apart from pretty much everybody. Pretty much everybody that you, you are around. I mean, no one else today had this on, nobody. No one else had it on and I'm cool with that. I really love this stuff. I think this is a home run. It's definitely climbing the charts. Uh, hopefully I've overhyped it even more than what you've already experienced from other YouTubers on here, but that's just how I feel about it. And I can see why the noise is so loud uh, for the uh, Girl Long Long Ideal EDP. So if you haven't tried it, look guys, I'm encouraging you to find somehow, some way 
to experience this fragrance. And if you can purchase it, I promise you, you will not regret it. I just guarantee it. I can't guarantee a lot of things, but for me personally, I know everyone has their own opinion. I can guarantee that you won't be disappointed by this, okay? So, whew, I think I covered everything, and this ain't the last time we're talking about this. Because I, like I said earlier in the video, this is considered top five for life for me. Y'all know how I feel about Bloody Chanel. Y'all know how I feel about certain Johnny Barbados fragrances. Y'all know, y'all know. This has entered the chat. <laughs> this has into the chat all right all right guys so that's pretty much going to cover it for now uh full review on Guerlain's Lone Ideal EDP uh, I'll try to find a link it could be sold out but I'll do the best I can and put it down below uh in the description and beautiful bottle as well beautiful bottle got some nice weight to it nice health to it like the cap like the presentation this stuff is really good all right really good great fantastic epic elite however you want to say it that's what this stuff is okay all right, so until next time, you guys be cool, be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah, I, I'm just looking at it and wonder if there's anything else I need to say, but I'm going to save it for later, all right? So to my Smell Good family, y'all be cool. Take care of yourselves. Like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. I hope you at least consider it. All right, we're on the 400. Almost at 400 subscribers, and it's because of you. Thank you, guys. All right, until next time.